Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to share with you a Fourier series of a periodic function. So, uh, before I talk about a uh, specific intervals which we always see in a Fourier series functions, uh, first part is that let's learn the way or a process to write a Fourier series. For that, means then you can uh, switch to any specific case. So, let's see how to remember. The first part is you are always given with the function. So let's fx is a function in this case and it is periodic. Otherwise, uh, we cannot write down the function as a Fourier series. So first requirement is function should be periodic function and uh, the interval should also be given. So here the interval is given a to b. And to write a period of the function, what we need to see is the function and the interval. If these two things are given, what we can do, we can find out the period of the function by taking a difference of the uh, initial and final term of the interval. It can be open, it can be closed depending upon the nature of the function. So here t is p minus a. So let's start with the how to write. First step is write your function here. So we write the current function here. And right side we have three terms uh, written. The first is constant term so constant term is written as a naught and 1 by 2 is also in the series and then we have an infinite entry of sine and cosine so first i am going to write a cosine we write a an and it is a coefficient of course the angle part i will share with you so that you can remember so here i am keeping it blank because i want to show that how you can remember writing an angle so n is starting from 1 to infinity and the infinite terms or sine functions are also there so here the coefficient is pn and we are going to write on with the sine and here i'm keeping a blank just to let you learn that this part is important of the fourier series that we have a naught a n b n in all the fourier series but what is the angle of that sine and cosine it matters a lot so first is you have to remember that this angle part is here it is every all fun it is a function of x but what will be the coefficient of x that is important so what you will do that how to write this angle part let's recall what is a period of a sine and cos function period of a sine and cosine is 2 pi now we have to write down the general period so general period is 2 n pi and we divide by uh, period of the current function so current function is fx and its period is t which is equals to b minus a so we write on b minus a here and uh, this is the coefficient of x so now by by remembering this uh, technique you cannot do any mistake in the angle part so i'm going to write down here the angle is 2 n pi x by b minus a period of the function the same angle is here because both are having the same period so 2 n pi x divided by p minus a and here also n is starting from 1 to infinity so this part is done that fx can be expressed as uh, this a naught by 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x by b minus a and sine 2 n pi x by b minus a and from 1 to infinity and from 1 to infinity now the second important uh, uh, term which you have to remember is that what are the values of this a naught a n b n and the formula for a naught a n b n is that let's start with the a naught so what is a naught equals to for a naught you will write down the integration here integration you have to see that interval interval is from so first let's see 2 upon the period of the function so here b minus a is the period of the function and the you will integrate the function only with respect to x and integration is started from the inter given interval so here it is a to b so a naught is equals to 2 by b minus a a to b fx dx and then we will see what is a bn value so bn a n value let me write on so a n is equals to again you write on 2 upon b minus a it is from a to b now for a n you will integrate f x not alone with this part this part you will integrate 
with this whatever you write here you write down drop it down here and then integrate this is 2n by x upon b minus a and dx and similarly we can write down the uh, this uh, last coefficient which is bn and what is bn equals to we can write on bn equals to 2 upon the period of the function which is b minus a from a to b integration of all these constants are from the same interval given in the problem and now you will integrate the function the same function with this sign part so bn is entertaining sign and an is entertaining cause over here so it is sine of 2n by x by b minus a right so with respect to dx so these are the important points and by remembering that we can write down the Fourier series of any function so let's start with the Fourier first case i am taking that here the function is fx this is the function and the period is 2L. Now 2L can uh, in most of the problems under the topic of Fourier series of 2L period. So either the interval is starting from minus L to L because uh, you always know that there is a 0 and this side is a minus L and this side is a L. So the total gap is 2L. Or uh, it can be starting from here 0 to 2L. So any of the interval will be given. Now let's see with the help of this formula as you have seen that 2n pi x by b minus a. So let's see what is b minus a. In both the cases the period is 2l. So when you divide 2n pi x by 2l so 2 2 will get cancelled. So angle will be n pi x upon l only and here also n pi x by l. So by remembering the previous formula you can fit any kind of Fourier series within this um, general form and the next step is to write a uh, this uh, coefficients a naught a and b n and then a naught is 1 2 by b minus a so what is 2 by b minus a so 2 by 2 l means 1 by l so here 1 by l in uh, i am taking here here uh, i am taking the interval first case is minus l to l so if the function is such that if it is a periodic function and the period is 2 l and the interval is the interval given to us is minus l to l in that case a naught will be 1 by l minus l to l fx integration a n is integration of fx uh, with cos part so just uh, one uh, this always remember whatever uh, this uh, cosine function you are creating with the Fourier series that is only integrated over here cos n by x by l and bn is equals to 1 by l minus l to l fx sin n by x by l. So any periodic function of period 2l, the Fourier series is remain same only the a0, a n, b n calculation will vary from interval because you are integrating over the inter given interval. So if interval is minus l to l, the a0, a n, b n will integrate from minus l to l. In case the interval is 0 to 2l, the a0, a n, b n integration will be from 0 to 2l, 0 to 2l and all that. And the same manner if we write the Fourier series of any periodic function of period 2 pi. Now 2 pi again the same manner either most of the problems under this topic of period 2 pi are from minus pi to pi or from 0 to 2 pi. So in the same case now remember this formula you are observing that 2 n pi x by 2 pi so you when when b minus a is 2 pi pi will also cancel 2 will also cancel you are only left with nx so the angle of cos is nx here the same angle of uh, sine is nx and uh, a naught a and b n has the same process that you are taking the half of the interval so interval is 1 by pi minus pi to pi because in this case I am taking minus pi to pi so a naught a and b n will be these are the three formulas fx cos nx for b n fx sin nx coefficient is 1 by pi here and in case your integration of the same periodic function of the same period 2 pi but the interval of that one pattern is given between 0 to 2 pi so here you will write on 0 to 2 pi now along with this um, Fourier series expansion, I would like to share some important uh, 
points which we should remember because while finding a naught a n b n uh, we come across some because sine and cosine are there in a n b n so we come across some terms where we need the values so and if you remember this it will be easy for you so let's see uh, the first cases when we have a sine 0 because sine 0 and sine of n pi or even odd or even any multiple of pi is always 0 this point is important and uh, we are having a cosine function also in the uh, Fourier series so we, while finding a n b n calculation if you are coming across cos 0 or cos even multiple of n pi the value is 1 but when it when we don't know what is the n value whether it is in even or odd so cos n pi is always equals to minus 1 to the power n why, why because you can you can remember that what is a what is the cause of 1 pi cause of pi is minus 1 to the power 1 is minus 1 what is cause of 2 pi n is 2 so minus 1 to the power 2 is 1 what is cos of 3 pi it is minus 1 to the power 3 means minus 1 so if, if n is uh, any number we can write on minus 1 to the power n so it is a general and it is of even part even is 1 now the sec third important uh, formula which we come across is that instead of using by parts we can uh, use this integration of technique wherein we have if we have a two functions one function i am naming as u and one as a v now i am going to fix here in this formula u i am fixing for differentiation and v i am fixing for integration so uh, the formula is u into v is no differentiation but first integration then there is a minus sign then there is a first differentiation second in. so integration differentiation will increase uh, one by one but uh, the starting of differentiation is from the second step and integration starts from the first step like v1 means first integration v2 means second integration v3 means third integration v4 means fourth integration and so on and u dash uh, u double dash u triple dash are the uh, first second third derivative now important point uh, what you remember you should uh, integrate differentiate if your function is algebraic like x to the power n and you integrate uh, v you call u as a power formula and v as a it can be sine or it can be cosine so you rem only apply this formula for these two cases so we will take some examples uh, that how to uh, use these formulas so let's let's take one example here i have taken that uh, if we have a i have i have taken one of the integral which we usually come across in the integration of a naught a and b n so i am taking this x with cos nx so here no differentiation first integration of cos nx is sin nx divided by n minus of the formula and the differentiation of x is 1 and integration second means this i keep in the bracket so that next term of integration is minus cos n x by n square and the third integration differentiation of 1 is 0 so there are only two terms here so after uh, writing and the important point which i want to share is that while using this formula keep your integral term within the bracket because sine cosine keep on changing the negative to positive so there is a negative positive sign in the formula and there is a negative positive sign in the integration so if you keep it in the bracket there is no mistake of sign and let's see um, the x square i have I've discussed the x square term so x square cos nx can be no differentiation this is u and this is v this is u dash this is v second and this is u double dash this is third integration it is minus this is plus so we have seen that integration of cos nx is sin nx upon n and differentiation of x square is 2x and integration of this sin nx upon n is cos n minus cos nx 1n is already there so n square and then 2x differentiation is 2 with the plus sign and here the minus cos integration is minus sin nx so once you've done the integration then you can club all the negative positive sign and you write your final answer like that in the same manner we can write down for the triple integration 
and i hope you have understood this topic thank you